Hey, what's up guys? It's Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get the Note 5 screen off memo feature on older Note models because why should we be left out? Damn. So as I mentioned, this is a feature on the Note 5 that's not available for older Note models, but thanks to a third party developer, it's now available for the Note 3 and the Note 4. And if you have an older Note model, I'm not sure why you still have it, but you can test it out and see if it works. So the first thing we're going to do is get our device ready. Let's head into the security preferences. And from within here, we're going to go ahead and enable this feature called unknown sources. Mine's already toggled on, so make sure you have that little box checked. This will allow the installation of applications that aren't available on the Google Play Store, which is what we're going to be doing. I have the APK or the applications file in my downloads history or my downloads folder, you can go ahead and grab it from this guide over at gadgethacks.com and just go ahead and install it. Once it's installed, go ahead and open it up. This will allow it to register the S Pen action when you take it out and trigger it. Now there's one more step before you start using it. Let's head back into our settings. You're gonna go down into security once more, but this time we're gonna go into device device administrators and make sure you have screen off memo checked. Now the application will still work if you don't have this enabled but it's really convenient if you do have it enabled because from the lock screen when you take it out and activate the screen off memo and place the S Pen back in with this toggled on it'll lock the screen again once you do put the S Pen back in its slot. So with your screen off and the application ready to go just remove your S Pen and on your lock screen or with your screen off, it'll enable or activate this application. You can take your quick note. You can use the eraser function. You can add a new note. You can close the application and you could save the current note to your S note application within your device. So as you can see, it's really convenient. It's a cool function that was previously only available for the Note 5, but now you can say, screw you Note 5, because I have it on my Note 4 and it's just as good. So definitely check out the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com. Also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome and very useful Gadget Hack videos. Thanks guys.